15 rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. Introducing from Mexico City, Mexico, he's wearing black trunks, he weighs 203, Manuel Bravo. Bravo. He gets a fine welcome. He's from Philadelphia, wearing green trunks, he weighs 203 and a half, the heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Frazier. And Joe gets an ovation. With the heavyweight championship of the world at stake. Greetings, Joe Manuel. The heavyweight championship vice champion Joe Frazier. Manuel Ramos will be ready to start in just a moment. In the center of the ring, Johnny Abbey has pulled in both fighters, Manuel Ramos, 24 years old, 6'3", 208 pounds, Joe Frazier also 24, 5'11 and a half, 203 pounds, to get their final instructions. Both fighters go back toward their corners. Frazier will be working out of the corner to your right. Frazier likes to press his man and work the body. He has a wicked left hook. He keeps pressure on all the way. Ramos has the reach on him, about four inches and three and a half inches in height. As you can see, both are easy to hit. Ramos has been told to stay off the ropes. He's trying to. Crazy with luck. Frazier was wobbled by a right hand. I don't have to talk, the action speaks for itself. Probably of Dempsey and Purple. This is the greatest first round of any heavyweight championship fight that I remember. There's a minute to go in the round. Ramos, a five to one underdog, almost took it here in the first round. Frazier keeps boring in a la Marciano. Both have tremendous left hooks. Ramos was staggered. Not a knockdown. Seconds to go in this round. There's the bell. Madison Square Garden scoring on a rounds basis with a supplementary point system if the rounds come out even. Ramos hit him low. Frazier is putting everything into every punch. And so is Ramos. He's got Ramos in trouble on the ropes. And Ramos is down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ramos gets up at the count of nine. Two minutes and 45 seconds left in the round. A 
Look at right up a cut that time by Frazier. He's got his man in real trouble again. That was the first knockdown of Ramos' career. He's never been down before. He is no pushover, and Frazier is proving himself a great fighter. Ramos, who has never been cut either, has a lump over his right eye. Testimony to the punching power of Joe Frazier. Half the round is over. Ramos is being battered now. Frazier's left hook is a thing of mystic beauty. Ramos hit low again. There's a minute to go in the round. It's a question of how long Ramos can take this. Ramos is getting gun shy now, but he's game. He has been subjected to an awesome battering. And Frazier has taken a lot of good punches too. That right uppercut almost tears the head off. Ten seconds left in this round. Ramos takes the count. And now the round is over. Let's see what Arthur McCanty is doing. Arthur McCanty is stopping the fight. And the winner and still heavyweight champion of the world is Joe Frazier in a sensational fight at Madison Square Garden. Jim Gordon is going up into the ring to try to get Frazier to the microphone and to our cameras. It was a sensational fight from start to finish. And for a moment in round one of the first minute, it looked as though Manuel Ramos was going to be the new heavyweight champion of the world. But Joe Frazier is made of stern stuff. There is no question about that. End of the second round by a TKO and still the heavyweight champion of the world, Joe Frazier. I want to explain what Johnny meant in New York, if a man is floored at or near the bell, the, he cannot any longer be saved by the bell. And this is the first time it has happened in a championship fight. Manuel Ramos took an awesome battering once Frazier got his sights on it. And Frazier is certainly a fine heavyweight champion. There is no question about that. Johnny Addy is ready with the announcement now.